Hey guys, it's Luna and welcome back to another And Other Stories Come Shopping with me. Today I came to the End Other Stories with the sole purpose of being your guide in this maze of spring summer clothes and actually helping you find clothing pieces that you feel good in. The other day one of you sent me an email if I could please do a video where I recommend clothing pieces based on what's flattering to your body type. And I found this a really difficult topic because this person in particular wanted me to recommend clothing pieces for the summer that may be helping her hide some areas of her body. And I don't want to give anyone the feeling that they should hide their body for a specific season but i do understand that when the weather gets hotter and we're losing layers of clothing that you might feel more insecure about certain areas of your body than you have done before so whilst i'm exploring the end other stories i will give you recommendations based on different body types i really want this video to be a video where we girlies are helping each other out so if you have specific advice for a specific body type or an area of your body that you have difficulty with feel free to leave a comment to help each other out this stunning gold necklace is perfect if you're a bit heavier on the top half of your body because this would balance out your proportions perfectly. If you have a straight figure, a vest is a perfect option for you. Also, this one has lines, so it enhances the straightness of your figure. And by straight, I mean your silhouette, so you can even have a pouch or no pouch with your figure. And if you have a pouch, a longer vest might be a good option for you if you're not keen on focusing on that area. When I was shopping with my mom the other day, she looked so beautiful in the top that she tried on. But she mentioned, Luna, I don't feel good in this because you can see my arms, you can see the aging on my arms, and I don't feel good in it and i was like what you look so good in this but the issue is that if you don't feel good in something you're not going to be your most confident self and you're not going to end up picking it up when you want to wear it in the morning so as much as i can tell her you look beautiful in this if she can't see it for herself then i'm not going to force her to try something that makes her insecure and that's kind of the thing why playing with clothes can be helpful you shouldn't hide anything but if it can make you feel more confident and comfortable in your body it might be nice to look out for clothing pieces that enhance the elements that you want to enhance the amount of clothes I actually picked up, I wasn't allowed to bring with me in the fitting room. So I had to try a few of them on first and then later I could pick out the other ones as well. I wanted to try out this top because I really am still figuring out which colors I like on me apart from black and white. But I'm not really sure about this. Maybe I should really do a proper color analysis. But anyway, we're going to focus on the shorts because these shorts are incredible. The reason that I'm speaking very highly about these shorts is first of all the length. I really love the length of them. It's not always easy to find a nice long pair of shorts, but they don't feel insanely long either i love a short that is either looser on the legs or has a bit more of a structured shape and this one is definitely looser on the legs and i adore that because if i gain weight i feel like i notice it the quickest on my thigh area and i don't like the feeling that something is clinging to my thighs i feel like us women really can be shapeshifters because i can make my thighs look very feminine but i also can make them look a lot slimmer and this is one of the examples that if i wear a looser short like this my thighs will look slimmer whereas if i wear a skirt that's shorter and higher up my legs you will see that my thighs are a lot more feminine loose shorts are also really nice in summer because they don't cling to your body because these shorts are loose it also doesn't focus on my hips i feel like my hips quite disappear in them but also my bum disappears in this and i don't mind that because sometimes you don't want weird stares in summer from creepy men but it's good to note i honestly had quite high expectations for this skirt when i picked it up i thought this is a nice length beautiful neutral color that a lot of people are gonna love and it also has such a beautiful fabric it felt great but then i tried it on in the fitting room and i was i immediately wanted to take the skirt off i was like I'm, I'm not gonna put this in the video i don't want this in the video i feel like i look so bad in it but this skirt ended up being the perfect example because it's important to know that if something doesn't look good on you it might also be due to poor fabric choice or construction of a garment and even though when i felt this fabric on the hanger i thought this was a beautiful fabric so soft to the touch when i put this on it was not doing anything for me Keep into consideration that i'm in a fitting room and this light is supposed to be more flattering for the clothing pieces and i'm not outside yet and you can still see anything and everything on my body you, you can see the seamless nude underwear that i'm wearing under this skirt you can see the lines of my stomach you can see even a bit my belly button i wasn't bloated when i was filming this i don't really have a pouch and yet you can still see everything and i'm not even in direct sunlight i don't want to know how exposed i'd feel in direct sunlight and overall, I think And Other Stories does so many timeless and great basics. And there's always something in there that I love. But this one really didn't hit the mark for me. And it's good to point out the things that I do like. And also the things where I think they kind of flopped. If you saw my last And Other Stories Come Shopping With Me, maybe you will recognize this top. Because I actually bought this in black. But I saw they had a white one this time around. So of course, I had to try it on. I do prefer the black one. 
But I wanted to show you why I fell in love with this type of top and what is so great about it for me. This is another way that I like playing with proportions for myself and that's by going for a looser sleeve. If I go for a billowy sleeve, it hides a bit the feminine features of my arms and it gives more of a youthful appearance. Whereas if I do want to show my full feminine essence, I would wear something bodycon that shows my arms because then you can see my feminine features very well in my body. I mentioned before that my mom has insecurities with the aging of her arms and this could also work for her very well, this long sleeve. I also have a friend who likes to have the option of a good sleeve to hide her skin bumps because she's sometimes a bit insecure about those. And something else that this could be great for is maybe if you have tattoos and you need to hide them for work or something else. And apart from my thigh area, my upper arm area is the area where weight fluctuations for me are the most noticeable. Because we're all just humans, our weight can fluctuate. Sometimes we gain a little, sometimes we lose a little, it can be all over the place. So having some items with a bit of playroom if you know your sensitive areas can be really nice. When I was a teenager, I was bullied for how skinny I was and I really loathed when summer came around every time and I had to wear short shorts I really didn't feel good in them I felt so exposed I didn't feel I didn't feel at ease in them at all I remember I always wore longer trousers in summer because I just felt so uncomfortable I only wore shorts when I went on holiday with my parents and I ate so much and so unhealthy and whatever I did I couldn't put on weight and it really frustrated me because everyone that I knew was getting more feminine figures and I was I felt like I was also being left behind on that front and I remember when I tried on a midi length skirt for the first time and how infatuated I was with how that looked because it didn't feel like I was compromising on my style for once like I was doing with long trousers in summer it felt like a style choice that's what I really want to try to show you today you can also make deliberate style choices for summer you don't have to compromise you can go for indeed a long dress or like I showed earlier a puff sleeve because these items are not only clothing pieces that will make you feel good but also make you look good whilst being comfortable and that's just the magic formula when it comes down to dressing and feeling confident. With getting older I did get some more feminine features in my body but I do want to wear a long dress sometimes just purely for comfort. For many reasons I love wearing longer dresses or longer skirts and the main reason nowadays I prefer a long dress from time to time is because I am so incredibly pale. But that's why I sometimes prefer a longer dress because it doesn't make me feel as self-conscious about the paleness of my legs. Or maybe I have a day where I maybe miss the spot shaving my legs and that's also great for that. Or sometimes I also notice that the minute I'm wearing a shorter skirt or a dress that men are being weird about it. So that's also nice for comfort levels. That's why it's so important to have a curated wardrobe so you can pick out in the morning what you feel good in and confident in. I I instantly feel more like myself when I'm wearing a black clothing piece. I love playing with black clothes and I also have a few videos on how to wear black the right way so I will link those up in the cards and in the description box down below if you want to check those out. But the reason that I picked up this top was because I thought this would be such a great option for when you have a day where you're feeling a bit bloated or maybe you want to go out for dinner and not have to worry about anything fitting too tight or maybe you're dealing with a bit of hormonal imbalances and are a bit bloated because of that and want some more breathing room. Pregnant belly that you want to hide? There's a couple of options here with why this top could be good for you. This top is very loose on the bottom half and I really like that the side of this top has a little slits in them so it gives it a bit of breathing room. It doesn't make the top feel too heavy and bulky. I also want to put the attention on the vertical pleated line on the top because you have a vertical line it enhances the length of the figure whereas if you would have a horizontal line on the top it would enhance the width of the figure. When I saw this dress on the hanger I knew this wasn't gonna do me any favors but I wanted to try it on in the spirit of trying clothes for different body types. I honestly think that this would look stunning on someone with a heavier bust because I find that v-necks look so beautiful on girlies who have a heavier chest and I think that this dress could have the most potential for the curvy girlies I don't know if this would work as well if you'd have a straight shape apart from the v-neck there are more noteworthy details about this dress you have the beautiful sleeves that have a bit of movement to them the beautiful buttons and this dress has pockets which we love to see and apart from that you can also cinch in the waist a little bit with this tie at the back I honestly thought that I had a proper clip showing you the tie at the back but I can't seem to find it so you just have to believe me that it's there. If you look closely you can kind of see it. So if you like to cinch in your waist a little bit or emphasize your beautiful curves this dress might be stunning on you. This skirt is definitely a love it or hate it situation. You might think this is very cool or you might think this is the weirdest stuff ever and I actually do think this skirt is really cool. I do see potential in this skirt for a couple of different reasons and first of all it has a neutral color but second of all you might think while well, cargo is not something very timeless I think if it fits your personal style cargo could be very timeless but the reason I think this skirt is such a gem is because of the big pockets that you either love or hate and I think these pockets are so incredible because when we're working 
working with illusion of shape. If you have a big element like this big pocket, it will make other elements look either smaller or more in proportion. So that's what I also at the start of the video told you with the necklace. If you have a big necklace, whilst you're also heavier on the top of your body, it balances out your proportions perfectly. With this skirt, the same illusion can be found with the pockets, but also with the big ties at the sides of the pockets. And honestly, that's why I want you to find the joy in playing with shapes and proportions for clothing, because it can help with shape shift. And I personally find it a lot of fun in the morning to see what kind of mood am I in? Am I in the mood to look sexy and feminine and enhance the curviness of my body? Or do I feel like I'm a bit more of in a playful and youthful moods so depending on what i'm in the mood for it's nice to have options for the outfits and that's so fun about being a woman and being a shapeshifter <laughs> with this skirt because of the choice of the fabric and the shape of the skirt it will also hide your curves a bit because of that whereas if you would choose for a very bodycon skirt it would give a whole lot of a different look and feel if this skirt would have been a stark white instead of an off-white i would have purchased it instantly but now because of the color not 100 being what i want it to be i left it at the store but i do think it's a fun item to play with it. When I saw the skirt on the hanger, I honestly didn't know what to expect. It looked a little peculiar to me. But this skirt might be great if you're looking to create a faux hourglass figure because of the way that the shape goes. The way that this skirt is constructed is almost like it gives you some hips and it's really fun to look at. And I didn't know what to expect, but it's quite fun to play with. I honestly think my main issue with this skirt was that I paired it with this white top and it gave me very much medieval vibes. <laughs> and I couldn't look past that and give this skirt an objective raving anymore after this but it is quite a fun skirt it's also kind of a very specific thing to like this ended up being another great example of playing with shape due to the construction of a garment and i am not picking this one up because i have enough black clothes but i did want to show you the effects this could have I did try on a few other pieces in the fitting room, but nothing else really stood out to me. So maybe you're wondering, did I end up buying something? And yes, I did. I bought that beautiful dress because I felt so good in it. I also fell in love with the way the light hit the dress. I really love a good reflection. And yes, that's the one that I picked up. And if you're watching this video and you love this dress, it's actually on sale right now. So you might have the opportunity to buy this dress discounted. Lucky you. I mean, I'm happy I bought it, but lucky you. There's a discount on this dress. And I will link everything that I found in the description box down below for easy access so you don't have to go on a treasure hunt on the website i really hope that you found this video helpful and thank you to the girly who requested this video it was quite fun to go shopping with a prom this time and i hope this helped you figure out what you like to wear and yeah that's all for me for today thank you so much for watching i really hope you're doing well feel free to subscribe because i would love to have you back and i hope to see you again very soon Bye bye